Welcome to Booze in the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. And I'm going to give you a parental advisory up front because I'm going to drop a couple of F-bombs during the making of this video. And the reason for that is this happened to me recently, which sent me back to being a kid. I ordered a screwdriver, and it came to me as if I had been 19 years old, working at a bar for the first time, and it's a Christmas party, and I'm mixing my own drinks. This is a true story. So. I'm gonna make the video in two parts. The first part is how to f up your cocktail. The second part is how to actually make a screwdriver properly, the easy way. So let's get into it. Now, as I said, I'm gonna give it to you directly as I would have done as a kid. So as I was 19, you grab some, you grab some ice and you put it in your glass and you're like, all right. Now the next thing you do is you take most of this ice out, you dump it out, and you leave in one cube because you need to make sure, if anybody looks, it's got some ice in it. The next part is you're going to take your vodka of choice. Now I'm using Tito's here, and Tito's is gonna hate me when I actually show you how I'm gonna measure this out. As a 19 year old, we're gonna use two fingers like so. Oh yeah, the perfect amount of vodka. Just enough in an 11 ounce glass, which is 330 mils, to be probably eight ounces of vodka. You can't go wrong with this, can you? Now then you grab your fresh pressed orange juice, which is local from the grocery store, and you put in just enough to color it like so. Yeah, just enough orange to color it. And let me show you the rest of the way you're gonna fuck it up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Too much vodka. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've done that. And I did that with a friend, a few friends actually, during this Christmas party. And I think they all, every single one of us had the same face. Now, this is the bad one. The better part of your video here is to take your glass and fill it all the way with ice. And there's a couple of reasons for this. First, as time goes by, it's going to dilute, which is really good. It's going to also chill it out so you're not dealing with warm vodka, right? That's important. Your next step is to actually measure out the amount of vodka that you're going to use. Now, I've seen a lot of people refer to a measure, but what do they mean by a measure? could be whatever their uh, jigger is. So it could be one ounce, two ounces. In this case, the optimal amount is an ounce and a half, which is 45 milliliters. Awesome, now the good thing about putting in an ounce and a half is you get a good ratio between vodka to your orange juice, and it'll actually allow you to uh, keep what's in your bottle longer. So if you were to use a two ounce pour, a 40 ounce bottle would be gone in 20 drinks, especially if you're with a bunch of friends. However, if you go to an ounce and a half, you're gonna get about 30 drinks out. So your bottle lasts longer and your cost per drink is less. Now, what we're going to do is again, use some of this fresh pressed orange juice and we're just going to top it off. And that'll be about four ounces or 120 mils. But what I'm going to do is fine strain it to keep any pulp out. Look at that, absolutely perfect. So what you wanna do now, just take your straw, give it a bit of a stir to incorporate everything. And what we're going to do is just garnish this with an orange wedge. Something nice, simple, easy. Just slide it on here, just like so. And here you have a fantastic, easy to drink screwdriver. Mm. No fear, you get all of that orange taste. It's not overpowering. The vodka is well hidden in there. And now you can actually adjust it by say, adding some Galliano to give it a, a big, may turn it into a Harvey Wall banger, or maybe just add a little bit of bitters in there to give you a little bit of spice. If you like orange cocktails, I'll take a look right here and I'll put one up for you.